question is from Jeans Wu. What are the benefits and disadvantages of doing a barbell co complex versus doing straight sets? So a barbell complex like would a be, circuit. Yeah, like like they're using the example of like deadlift for five reps, row for five reps, clean for five reps, press for five reps. I don't necessarily like the combination of exercises. I definitely don't know if I like would put a row with a deadlift yeah. right away. But I get the idea, right? It's doing, you know, five exercises back to back. You could call it a circuit. Uh, lower reps, they tend to call it a, a complex, but it's really exercises back to back. Now, what are the advantages? Uh, the advantages are time. That's you, yeah, all I can think of. Well, you, and you burn a lot of calories in a shorter period of time, right? Yeah, so, yeah. if you do a thirty-minute, you know, resistance training hit type workout or circuit type workout, you know, maps hit is like this. For example, maps hit. These are these are complexes that are twenty minutes long, and you just burn a lot of calories in a short period of time. So, for short-term fat loss, it can be very, very effective. Now, for long-term muscle building. Not as effective. Straight sets are straight sets are your bread and butter. You know what I mean? That's your like. This is what I usually do. And there's variety, you know, versions of straight sets. I mean, I'm not a fan of it at all. And I know that it does model our our hit program. But even our hit program is the only program that comes with a warning. And we warn people not to get stuck in training this right. way forever. It's just not ideal for somebody who wants it's like to an interrupter. Yeah, it's yeah. a great interrupt. Exactly, it's a great interrupter. This is a great thing to do. Uh, this is an example of something that I would do uh, in that that one off time that I have only twenty or thirty minutes, mm -hmm. and I want to get a really good workout. You'll get a good workout from that. But the the benefits of doing all those movements that are that the, the, this person has listed as straight sets. Oh my god. Uh, far more beneficial. Totally, you're, you're getting totally. so much more out of those extra. Those are those are such great exercises stand alone. That after you deadlift five times and row five times, by the time you get to clean, you're probably maybe cleaning fifty percent of the weight that you potentially could do uh, five by five if they were straight sets. And like, really, it's about right. energy systems of the body that you're training. Because I've had people ask me this, like, why rest? Like, what's it? I'm still lifting weights. Well, it, your the energy systems that you use predominantly when you're working out are what drive or part of what drive the adaptation, right? So, when you do a straight set, you're working with the, you know, the the ATP system. You're not dipping into, you know, glycolysis or glycogen too much like you would when you're doing these. And now, what does that mean for the average person listening who's like, what the fuck does that mean? Okay, one of them leads to strength and muscle building adaptation. The other one is more of an endurance building adaptation. And endurance doesn't require a lot of strength. And in fact, if you push endurance too long, your body actually becomes more efficient with calories, uh, aka metabolism may actually start to slow down a little bit. This is why if you do lots of all you ever do is cardio or all you ever do are circuits, you'll burn a lot of calories while doing the, the workout, but your metabolism actually slows down uh, for the rest of the day or the days that you, you don't work out. So, but in, in for short periods of time, they could be phenomenal fat burning workouts. Like, let's say you're 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 normally consistent with your workouts. You've been working out for a long time, and you're like, oh, I got you know five weeks until you know Mexico. I'm gonna go to Mexico, and I want to look really good in five weeks. Well, throwing in quite a bit of these type of workouts in that five week period with a good diet, you're gonna get cut uh, much faster. You're gonna burn more body fat, you know, yeah. much faster. I used to do these like uh, barbell complexes, but I, I mean, never more than two weeks, like max. Like I, I would, I would throw them in as their own emphasis is, is my kind of version of cardiovascular, but higher intensity cardio. Uh, and, and really I was trying to mimic it to uh, apply. Yeah. I just love CrossFit and I wanted to do anything <laughs> close to it as possible. Uh, this is before CrossFit, but uh, it was really just to get these, these, quick bursts, these powerful bursts and, and try and withstand, uh, you know, like being, being able to, uh, like elongate that a bit so I could still like mimic what time length I was, I was applying towards the field. So if I was like in a play, I'm going to be in a play for, uh, you know, 10, 15, 20 second, you know, bouts of, like of a musical? high intense. Like a musical play? Yeah, like a musical play. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, like, like a, a Wicked. Yeah, it's one of my favorite ones. Uh, and we would dance and <laughs> really intensely. <laughs> football. Football, dude. Oh, that kind of play. Oh, yeah, okay, football okay. play. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, so uh, I see benefit for that. Like if, if you're, uh, you know, in that type of a sport where, um, you know, you are doing totally high intense bouts, but you're you're trying to extend your endurance within totally that. performance. Performance would be another one. Now, here's the thing: 
and I've always told this to athletes, the best performance gains you're going to get that are specific to your sport are done practicing your sport. Now, here's the problem with the right. game, with football. Justin can't just go practice a bunch of plays uh, you know, in order to get his conditioning up because he has to rely on other players, so everybody has to meet at the same time. And at some point, it's going to beat you up too much. So how is he going to train that type of performance, endurance, and stamina, but also not tackle and, and beat his body up because he's already practiced X amount of time this week? Well, this would be a good uh, kind of a good strategy. Um, now, that being said, there's a lot of sports where that's not the case. There's, I've, I've had people who are like runners and rowers who are like, oh, I'm going to do a lot of weights to improve my stamina, and I'm going to do my, my weights in a way that improves endurance. Like, no, no, no. Make, get yourself strong with the weights. Just run more. If you can run more, just run more. That would be the best way to do right, it. Right, at but, the end of your workout or before. Right? Yeah, but yeah. when it comes to something like football, it makes perfect sense. It's yeah. like there's only so many times you could do a, you know, a plays where you're tackling each other uh, before your body just starts to just get beat up. But may, maybe you have the capacity to do the workout, then do that.